Is TikTok actually getting banned? And if so, what does that mean for creators in the industry? President Biden signed a bill requiring ByteDance to sell TikTok, which is massively influential in the creator economy. During the pandemic, American usage of TikTok spiked, which also made opportunities for creators get bigger than ever. So you might think that a TikTok ban would be catastrophic for creators, but that's not the whole story. Former President Trump first proposed a TikTok ban in 2020. So creators have always had it in the back of their minds that something like this could happen. So they've been preparing for four years to set up their businesses to make sure that they could survive a TikTok ban. Even though more established creators have been bracing for this moment, newer creators will be hit the hardest because they haven't had the time to develop their platform outside of TikTok. Political content creators will be particularly hurt by the ban, which is a problem since TikTok is a popular news source for Gen Z. And political creators can't just start porting their content over to Instagram Reels because Instagram is now filtering political content from people you don't follow. And if you're trying to build a following on a new platform, it's kind of a problem if people aren't able to find your content if they're not following you already. One creator told me that she's probably gonna be talking about the TikTok ban every day until something happens, which is especially crazy because it might be a whole year before we see any movement on this. But it makes sense. If a platform that people have been spending years building communities on can suddenly disappear, there's bound to be consequences, which begs the question. 